Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I haven't done anything but speed paints and abyss in a while, so today we're doing a Medibang video. This is going to be how to make gradients in Medibang. There is a tool for this, so you don't need to do it manually, but if you want to do it manually, I can probably make a separate video on that. So firstly, you're going to want to look at the top line of options and tools and just click this little gradient up here. From there, it brings up four different options, two of the type of gradient and then of the colors involved. You have the square one, which will just be a square space, and then a circular one, which is more of a fuzzy blob. Up here, you have these two. This one will keep the other color white, and this one will make the other color transparent, so non-existent. To test it out, use the square one or the circle one. I'll do square first. And all you're going to want to do is drag across a space and then let go. As you will see, this makes a nice, well-blended gradient. And this is on the transparent mode, so it doesn't just include white. But if we were to do that again with the white, then you will see it does not leave the transparent background there, so it's added that color. It's also important to note that you can change the color of your gradient. Uh, just by changing the color of your brush. If you want to blend two things together, I'd get two relatively similar colors and do gradients from either side. Then you can see this has a nice gradient effect by itself. It can also work with colors that are farther apart, such as these. Of course, it totally depends on the kind of gradient you want, but this is the general gist of how to do it. Then if you were to do the circle one, you will see it is essentially just as I said, if we get a new color here, like a bright blue, you just drag it out from the center point and it makes this little blob. Again, you can choose to have the white one with it if you want, but I think the transparent is generally better for this stuff. Then you can have several as well, and it looks pretty cool to me. Again, you can change it really easily. You can even use your color sets that have been pre-done. It's just a super easy to use tool. And it's really useful because a lot of people don't think that it exists. So we just end up using airbrushes and it's a really painstaking process. So I definitely appreciate that this tool is there to use. It can also be noted that if you push the gradient up further, you could have up to three, four, five, however many colors you want in one gradient. Although it does take a bit more work, you can see that it is possible and it can happen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. That was how to do gradients on Medibang, and it is pretty simple, so hopefully you can get the hang of it. Bye!